The Mason Minute with Kevin Mason. If you're in the market for a smartphone, your next one could be foldable. Now, I know I talked about this, I guess, in 2019, 2018, maybe, where all of a sudden Android phones were coming out and everybody was trying to come up with a foldable phone. iPhone now saying they may have a foldable phone for iPhone, I think, 13 or 14 or 15. I don't know. I can't keep track anymore. I think I'm still back at iPhone 7 because I haven't seen the need to upgrade yet. I'm fine with what I've got. Sure, I'd love a better camera. Sure, I'd love more memory. But at the same time, I'm just not in the mood to pay all that money. And from what I read, foldable phones, if you really want one, well, they're going to cost even more. Now, I understand the novelty of foldable phones. We yearn for the days when we had our little foldable StarTac phones. Wasn't that a Motorola? It's been so long. I know I've got one around here somewhere. But everybody loved the foldable phone because you could throw it in your shirt pocket, in your purse, and you never had to worry about it. An iPhone, as they get bigger, tougher to put in a pants pocket. I'll be honest, I just put mine on the table. I'm not too worried about it. But a foldable phone, I think I'll pass for now, unless I'm forced to.